High school coaches across Georgia agree it's a problem that is growing out of control. Yeah. Star athletes switching schools for what they think is a better program sometimes amid allegations the new school unfairly recruited them to come. Well, Fox 5 I team reporter Randy Travis investigates one proposed solution that's already generating some controversy. That's right, right Russ and Sine, I've talked to many coaches, players, and their parents. They all agree high school sports in some way has lost its innocence. They do not agree on how to fix it. It may seem like life moves slower in Jones County, but even here they wish for simpler days. We didn't have to worry about kids leaving. It's getting crazy. I'm telling you, it's getting crazy. Longtime Greyhound coach and athletic director Barry Veal shares the concerns of high school coaches across the state, worried about athletes suddenly transferring to another program. This year, eight highly touted college prospects moved to football powerhouse Grayson High in Gwinnett County. One of them is senior defensive back Jemias Williams. Grayson will be his third high school in four years. He even announced the Grayson news on Twitter in the same manner a player might announce his college choice, tweeting in April, I had to do what was best for me. Coach Veal sees it happening in middle Georgia too. And I understand the kids. They want to go play for winners. They want to go play for this school. They want to go play for this school that wins every year in wrestling. Or they want, I understand that. But that's not high school. You go help build a program. State rules allow transfers as long as no one connected to the new school influenced the player to come. Plus, their family actually has to move into that new school district. The arrival of all those greats and transfers prompted rival coaches to complain to the county and the Georgia High School Association, pointing the finger at this volunteer assistant coach. Gwinnett County Schools eventually told Kenyatta Watson it was in the best interest of the program if he no longer helped. Grayson's college football advisor left in February, but denies doing anything wrong. Didn't recruit him, didn't promise him anything, didn't guarantee him anything. D'Angelo, Breon, Jemias, Tony Gray, Curtilla, Elijah Shaw. I had nothing to do with them kids coming to Grayson. Nothing. Nothing. Gwinnett County says it investigated. All those transfers have been cleared to play. But coaches still complain so many kids moving each year can harm not just the school they left, but the new school too, upsetting current players who spent years in the program only to lose their spot to a one and done senior transfer. Number 14 on the carrier, Elijah Shaw. So how do you slow it down? Well, one idea being floated among high school coaches in Georgia is to give them veto power over transfers. If they think a kid is being illegally recruited by another school close by, they can refuse to let him leave, or he'd have to sit out a year if he wanted to play for someone else. How many of those transfers would you have vetoed? There's three or four that we know for sure we're still living here in Jones County and going to schools outside this county. I would have vetoed those. Some parents and players who talked with the Fox 5i team tell us they transferred to Grayson because of disputes with their old coach over playing time. They worry the veto idea would allow a coach who holds a grudge to block their transfer request out of spite. Watson agrees. One person has the ability to say no. No, that's not, no. Wouldn't this slow down the rampant transfer no. problem that we have right now in Georgia? No, because I'm gonna tell you what's gonna start happening next. If, if if those kids didn't come to Grayson, they would have went to IMG. That one intercepted by IMG. IMG, a private Florida high school that recruits players from across the country. They opened the season with Grayson August 27th on national television. These kids came to Grayson because of that schedule. Okay, the opportunity to play on ESPN, the opportunity to play on national television. It wasn't because of offers. In May, many of Gwinnett's head football coaches met to vent their anger about those Grayson transfers. Some demanded the school drop IMG from their schedule, claiming it was unfairly encouraging players to switch schools. Grayson refused. You won't find IMG on Jones County's schedule, but you'll find the school's athletic director in agreement about transfers. They all say something needs to change. It's getting tough. I mean, it's a, it's a lot more than coaching now. There's a lot of other things going on to, uh, with, with our high school athletics. Well, this veto idea is part of a petition to GHSA being circulated among coaches and athletic directors across the state. It's just an idea. They want people to start a dialogue to try to come up with some other ways to at least slow this down. Yeah, perhaps it's naive to still think of high school football as Friday Night Lights, but uh, 
it does seem to have lost some innocence, doesn't it? Yeah, you know, Russ, I talked to one coach who said that it used to be that when the season was over, all he had to worry about was the, the banquet. He says now he's got to worry about people from other schools coming over and enticing his kids to transfer to their school. It's very frustrating. He says it, it feels more like a Saturday, you know, college level right. type sports than a Friday night lights kind of a situation. It's become awfully complicated. Yeah. Thanks so much, Randy. Thanks, Randy.